This is Barney, a one-year-old miniature poodle. He's about to have a bath in the hands of a real grooming expert. Yitka Kurzova is one of Europe's top dog groomers. Sasha is enjoying herself. <laughs> Originally from Slovakia, she now lives and works in Britain. She's been showing and grooming dogs for 20 years and has won an impressive array of awards. British Groomer of the Year Award 2006, Eurogroom winner three times in a row, and in 2011, she clipped and snipped her way to the World Championships as a member of Groom Team England. Yitka's sharing her champion tips and techniques to help you keep your dog in pristine condition. As an owner, it's important to bath your dog in between grooming sessions every one to three weeks. His ears are a little bit matted. Then I'm going to help myself with uh, anti-static conditioner, leave-in -in conditioner, which will break the knot. Yuk is using a slicker brush, which is great for removing tangles and mats in long-haired dogs, while at the same time gently massaging the skin. We have to pay close attention to dog's legs, armpits, bottom area and ears, and collar area as well. When you brush dog at home, it's always good to put him somewhere higher like uh, top of the washing machine or a table and it will be your grooming area at home because the floor is more like playing area and some of the dogs they just won't take you seriously they won't they won't keep still next it's time for a bath use a non-slip mat to ensure your dog feels safe you could even invest in a dog bath helper a mini lead attached to a suction cap that sticks to the bath. Check the temperature of the water. It should be lukewarm, not too hot and not too cold. We start from top of the neck towards the tail. Keep the shower head close to the body. When bathing your dog, avoid getting water in his ears or up his nose. Water in ear canal can cause uh, ear uh, irritation and eventually ear infection. And a small amount of water in nasal cavity can cause uh, big problems for dog's ability to breathe, especially with small breeds. You can either cover the ear canal with your fingers or put cotton wool in your dog's ears. I'm using Animology Dog's Body Dog Shampoo. Um, it has uh, very good cleaning property and it smells nice as well. Always use a special dog shampoo, as human shampoos may contain ingredients that aren't good for your dog's skin. If your dog suffers from allergies and needs regular bathing, ask your vet to suggest a shampoo that will soothe and not irritate the condition. We start on the dog's neck, gently massage the shampoo into the coat. Then shampoo the head, ears and dog's face. Be very careful not to get shampoo or water in your dog's eyes or mouth as this will put him off bath time. And pay close attention to your dog's feet where the dirt tends to build up between the toes. You just have to keep rinsing, rinsing, rinsing until the coat is squeaky clean. Yitka shampoos Barney twice. The first wash breaks up any excess dirt and oils the second shampoo penetrates deeper into the coat, leaving it nice and clean. Squeeze the water out with your hands. The coat feels like a woolly jumper at the moment. You can make bath time enjoyable for your dog by giving him his favourite toy or food treats. Rewarding him for calm behaviour will make bathing a positive experience. Drying a woolly, curly-haired dog like a poodle can be time-consuming. It's worth investing in a super absorbent towel to speed the job up. Finally, Yitka applies and massages in a leave on conditioner. This will add luster to the coat and keep it moisturised. 
Using conditioner help us to brush the coat and it also is uh, anti-static. It's important to bath the dog at home between grooming sessions to keep his coat nice and clean, more manageable, easier to brush. The whole procedure bathing takes 5 to 10 minutes for small dog and I think anybody can do that at home.